Installing the Adams Wright E-Force 150 Keyless Entry. The E-Force 150 is a new battery-operated keyless entry for Adams Wright deadbolts, dead latches, and exit devices that are compatible with narrow, medium, and wide-style aluminum, steel, and wood door applications. The device can accommodate up to 150 users, including master, supervisor, and emergency users, plus two one-time codes. The E-Force 150 operates in three modes, Standard, Passage, and Lockout, and all programming is easily accomplished with the keypad. The device is surface mounted with concealed fasteners. For this installation, the E-Force 150 is paired with an Adams Wright rim exit device, a common configuration. To begin, remove the existing pull handle from the door, then remove the existing fasteners. Next, remove the E-Force 150 and its supplied components from its packaging. The device ships with the necessary mounting hardware shown for aluminum and steel door installations. For other door materials such as wood or composite, use fasteners suitable for the given medium. The mortise cylinder must be supplied separately or, in some instances, reused from the existing setup. The E-Force 150 is field handable. For this left-hand reverse installation, turn the handle clockwise until it clicks at the 9 o'clock position. From there, keep turning until the handle clicks a second time, and then return it to the 9 o'clock position. Next, remove the 8 screws that hold on the back of the E-Force 150, and carefully open up the unit. Pop in the lock cylinder from the front side of the device, and screw on its retaining ring by hand. Then use the supplied spanner wrench to secure the ring snugly. Mark the device horizontal bar center line and vertical backset center line of the exit device. Apply the stick-on template over the marked reference lines. If you don't line it up quite right the first time, it can be easily removed and placed again. Center punch and drill four pilot holes for the rib nuts with an 8 inch drill bit, two at the top and two at the bottom. Then enlarge the holes to the correct size with a quarter inch drill bit. This two-step method helps ensure accuracy and will reduce the possibility of drill skipping along the style and missing the mark. Next, install the supplied rib nuts in the four freshly drilled holes. Attach the concealed retaining clip to the two holes with the supplied screws. The top of the E-Force 150 will mount on this clip. Install the tailpiece for the rim exit device on the E-Force 150 and feed the pin through the style to the exit device while placing the device against the style and hooking the top of it to the concealed retainer clip. Install the two remaining screws to fasten the bottom of the E-Force 150 tightly to the style. Place four AA alkaline batteries into the battery holder and insert it into the bottom of the device. Then with the lock cylinder in the proper position, slide on and attach the battery cover using the slotted screwdriver that is supplied with the E-Force 150. That's about it. The E-Force is now ready to be programmed via the keypad and put into service. Adams Wright has long been recognized as a leading manufacturer of hardware for aluminum entrances. The E-Force 150 is a strong addition to this family of products and the obvious choice to pair with Adams Wright deadbolt, dead latches and exit devices.